that that um how many pro fights did you have before like when your hands were all fought you had six pros right i had 10 professional fights 10 pros 10, 10 pro fights and uh yeah. you know then my hands got ruined and it got to a point where i couldn't turn a key button my trousers i couldn't do anything with my hands yeah so the only thing i would do is is get surgery yeah so yeah. i got the surgery hoping that they would get better and yeah. and, and, and then never never did yeah and you know at the time i was waiting for them to to, to get better, you know, I, I start drinking, put on loads of weight and yeah. got depressed, put myself in a bad place. I know, you yeah. know, all yeah. about that stuff. Yeah. And then yeah. I didn't know, you know I, had, I, got, I had to retire, they never got better. And I was like, what the hell am I going to do next? Didn't know what I was going to do next. And, yeah. you know, I was like, shit, all I really know is boxing and, and yeah. business. I've always had a good business mind. Yeah. So that's how it kind of started when I was in America. And I was like, well, yeah. I need to, I went and got a job in there. In, in a in a box and fitness gym. Tell you what, yeah. you, you you like you like this one, mate. So, I applied for a job in it was a twenty four hour fitness, and it's the first job interview I've ever had. I was twenty seven year old, right? Uh, and I applied for a trainer. I got a trainer certification, and I went in. Mate, the fella who was interviewing was the manager. He was sitting there with a suit on, with his legs on the desk like this, with his hands behind his. And I was like, oh my god! And I was really nervous for this interview. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I would like to come and maybe do some boxing classes here. And all that. And he's like, Yeah, I went, I went, what qualifications have you got? And I, and I showed him, and he, I went, I've got an Olympic medal as well. And I had it in my bag. So I pulled <laughs> me a Olympic medal out. And I was like, uh, He's me Olympic medal. And he, he's there. And he's looking at me, went, All right. And it was just like nothing. Really? And I was like, Fuck me. I was like, Olympic medals mustn't mean anything over here in America. Yeah. I was like, Shit. Anyway, I left and I and I emailed him the next day. I mean, I was just wondering how I did on that interview. We give the job to someone with a lot more experience than you. And I was like, shit. Wow. Mate, I was devastated. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do now? I, yeah. I I I can't even get a job in a gym. Yeah. Uh anyway, I found another gym and yeah. I was doing boxing classes. I went and worked there. I was with that for two months. I left there, started doing my own thing with yeah. one of the trainers from there, a boot camp on the beach. Yeah. And uh, yeah. then that but I built up really fast. Went yeah. from there, I invested the army money I made in, from boxing into an empty building in Santa Monica. We opened that into a gym called a Box and Burn, and that's kind of how it started. Yeah. And then 18, 18 months later, I got a we got named number one gym in California by Men's Fitness Magazine, right? Yeah. Which was massive for us because there's millions of gyms over here. Yeah. So yeah. I thought I was thinking about that manager of that 24 hour fitness who was yeah. being a proper dick with us, right? Yeah. So I don't know what they thought got the email, didn't I? Excuse me, Ari made this is Tony. Remember you interviewed us? You said I never had experience. I want to do a boxing oh, class. You didn't say Ari made, did you? Oh I Ari made, that was a one. Right? So send him an email with the link from men's fitness. Like right? we got yeah. in California one one gym. Mate, by the way, I'm glad that you didn't let us work there because since then I've come and opened this and I've done yeah. this. This could have been in your gym, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy your that in your shitty little office. See you, yeah. mate. You know, I was like, get in. He didn't reply, like, yeah. didn't reply, yeah. but uh, it felt good. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's, that's bad. And I can't believe I didn't know that. So you went for a job in a gym. You just yeah. retired from boxing. It was, mate, that must have, was that a hard decision or had you been, it was a hard decision, right? You'd been, was, you'd been built up for it for a while. Yeah, I didn't have a choice, mate. I couldn't, I couldn't make fists. Even now, I kind of, if you see, you see on the camera there, yeah. I kind of make a fist properly. So all these videos you see, when I'm training, I'm not punching correctly. Me, yeah. Me, me, me fists are so really bad. So I had to, I had to retire, but it was yeah. really, yeah. really hard because I did it since I was 10 until I was 27. That's all I really did. Yeah. So it was really hard. And then, uh, yeah, and I went for my first ever job interview, shit myself, and, and I failed, which was a good thing. So what were some of the things that let's let us let us just stay there for a second because I think this is this is quite an important thing. How did you doing that help you get through that? Obviously, was an important factor in it, right? Repeat that, mate. It, it, it went funny. Sorry, mate. So let's let's go back there for a minute to to that time where you are having a time yeah. in boxing. You've lost. You didn't get that job. Like what was some of the, what helped you get through that? Because that's not that that's not easy. No, I mean it's not. I I was thinking 
because I, I, I've always had the thing in, in the back of my head, like I've got an Olympic medal, stuff will come from that. Yes. And yes. when it, when he was like, didn't give a shit about that, I was like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. What am I going to do now? Mm. You know? Uh, but I made connections and there was a guy who was like, you know, like the next day I told him about that and he was like, well, you know, there's this, there's this gym in Santa Monica that's doing boxing classes, you should go there. Yeah. So I went there the next day and, and the next day I, they were like, well, you've got an Olympic medal. Oh yeah, yeah, job straight away. You know, how's so, the word boxing? Yeah, so so I, I got I got one straight away from that, and that's kind of that was my first like ever proper job that I've ever yeah. had, and I'm, I'm yeah. I think I'm twenty or seven or twenty eight year old by then. Yeah, yeah. Man, and I wasn't really getting. And, and what did I hear about? I'm sure I've heard a rumor about Mickey Rock at some point. Yeah. So were you in business with him? So what happened there was Mickey Rock. Uh, he his girlfriend trained at this gym where I was at. She was uh, a model, like 30 years younger than me or something. And uh, she, she, Mickey's a massive boxing fan. And when I was leaving there, she knew that I wanted to do my own thing. And she went, well, when you ask Mickey, he's a, he loves boxing. And I went, all right, sound. So I went and had a meeting with, with Mickey in West Hollywood. And um, we spoke about it. And he went, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, in, I'll invest. And we can open a boxing fitness gym. Because she told him how good that me and Kevin Watson, my business partner, were. And, yeah. So he was going to invest, he was going to invest 100 grand. And the 100 grand was going to uh, go into the, into the business, then it was going to go three ways for like like a 30, 30 split. Yeah. And that was the deal. Then Mickey was away uh, making a movie. Mm -hmm. And we were, me and Kevin, we were looking everywhere for a space. We found this location. Uh, yeah. We didn't have the 100 grand off him yet. And that's when I invested all my money I had left from boxing into the, yeah. into the gym. We opened the gym. The gym started doing all right. Then Mickey got back from his movie and uh, when I come uh, uh, in Hannah the Hundred Grand over, he kind of changed the terms a little bit. Yeah. He didn't just want 33% of the company, he wanted 33% of everything that me, I owned, I, I earned and Kevin earned. And we're like, no. Oh. Like, so if I done a personal training session, I, I give him 33% of that as well. I was like, no, I mean, that, that, that's not what we agreed on. But yeah, by yeah. this time, the, 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 by this time the, the, the gym had been breaking even after the first month. Yeah. So it was like, yeah, see you later, mate. And that was the best thing we ever done, getting rid of him. Yeah. Because we didn't, yeah. we didn't do that, you know?